I want you all to now start thinking about complementary things. So we started with you. No, I want you to say it so that what's your name? Aria. Just like how everybody in the room could hear me, I want to, 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 to hear everybody. Talented Tiffany. Talented Tiffany. I'm hearing some people all in the hands. Yeah. Yeah. Good, good. I want to hear it. I want to hear it. My name is Nikita Barron and I am Nosy. Nosy? Nosy. Nosy? Yes, <laughs> yes, 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 no. What's the meaning of nosy? Good, good. What's the meaning of nosy? I wish that you could talk a little bit. Right, okay. What's the meaning of nosy? Don't turn out to the business. Good, right. That is what you are? Good, well, hear what I want now. I want you to flip that now. I want you to do, say something. Is that a nice thing? Good. So I want you to skip, flip that now. I want you to say something that is nice about you. So I am Charles Emmanuel and I am compassionate. And you and what? Nikita and I am no nosy. I don't want to meet the nosy Nikita. Because you're going to find out plenty things about my business. Right. So let me start again. My name is Nikita and I am something nice about yourself. <laughs> Natural Nikita, okay. Okay. Natural, okay. Okay. You can do that. Courageous comment. Chili here. And it's where that C. Chili here. Yeah, just fun. My name is Denise Machel and I am diligent. Diligent. Okay. <laughs> Wait, just now, just now. Let me hear the dutari. Go ahead, let me hear it again. My name is Denise Machel and I am diligent. Good. Active. My name is Olivia Spence and I am attentive. Attentive. I'm just Lucina's pirate diamond and I'm a lovable and loyal. <laughs> <laughs> My name is Ariel Kunan and I am adventurous. Adventurous. My name is Selena Benesi and I am fantastic. <laughs> Is that Felina? Felina. Felina or Selena? Selena. Gotta get out of the way. Gotta get some of the I told her it's Felina. She said, No, it's Felina. No, but you gotta find something that they use. My name is Alistair Ferrer and I'm amazing. Amazing. My name is Unity Graphic and I'm unique. Unique. <laughs> Very nice. My name is Tia Kitsa and I am terrific. Terrific. <laughs> My name is Jay Thomas I am, and I am joy, joyful. 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 Oh, what? 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 There is M. 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 Marvelous. Mr. D. Me? Oh. All right, I am I am Fletcher Dano and I'm fantastic. Very good. Hey, hey. <laughs> All right, so having said that now, we know. What we are about. We are in all of us are going to be involved in a program that speaks to being terrific, being marvelous. Is, is that right? It's going to be an amazing program. Because the people who spoke this evening are all members who um Akisha, Tiffany, Jalisa, Ariel, Selena, some missing, right? Natari not here. 
Nakita not here, Dinik here, Amy here, right? Nakita here. Right. What I'm saying is that all the names that you have called are people who are going to be dynamic, debonair, exciting, adventurous. They're going to make, these are the people who are going to make this program that. Is that right? Hmm? Yes. yes. Is that yes, right? Sir. Yes, sir. Good. Because I want to hear all the details and me on truth, sir. Because that's what all the all the names are and it describes your personality. Alright? Okay, so. Now, when the Netball Association wrote me, they said that they want to rebuild, revive, and they want to ensure growth and development of the Netball group or the association in San Fernando. Right. What any of you understand by revive? That's a big word. But what it means? Bring back alive. To bring back alive. All right, all right. So if you bring back something alive, what it thought it was at the moment then? Dead. I do like that word. Boring. Boring. Good. I like Unlikely. that. That's a better word, right? What? Unlikely. Unlikely. Okay. Unlikely. What? What? <laughs> All interesting, right? Good. So these young people here are going to change that, okay? So they're going to re re revive it, reincarnate it. We're going to make it less boring. We're going to, we are going to make it lively. And some of us here with the adjectives like debonair. We said debonair. What do you want? No, she's not nosy anymore. <laughs> natural. She's natural. natural. Yeah. Yeah. Somebody has told me that they're going to rebuild it. So tell me what what is going to happen when we re start rebuilding? When you hear the word rebuild the association, what is going to be happening? Change it a bit. Change it a bit, right? It's going to be different. It's going to be different, okay? She's thinking about it. Just now, I want to let her think a little before you answer. And I'm going to make it. Attractive, lively. <laughs> Somebody was splendid, okay. What else you want to do? We want to make it unique. Alright. Right, we want more people to come together and join it. Right? We want to that, that's the unity. Right. We want to make it fun. Alright. Enjoyable. Enjoyable. Remarkable. Remarkable. Yes, it could be. We could make it fun. Interesting. Interest somebody said interesting already. What about those in the in the, in the balcony there? Any here in Olio? Only you want to help, help with this new organization? Yes, sir. We're okay. rebuilding the organization. What it is we're going to do with it? Make it have a little more spunk. A little more spunk. Oh God. A little more, more fantastic or something. A little more fun? No, sir. Well you say fun already. More productive. Productive. That is a very, very good thing. We want to make it productive. What about you? What do you want to do with this new organization? Something that, sorry, sorry, the same organization, but we want to rebuild it. What is it you want to do with it? Make it look brand new. Upgrade it. I make think it look brand new. We want to make it brand new. Very good. Very good. We might change we the name. You think we should change the name? Yes. yes. How we want to call it? But, they call it the San Fernando Netball League. Right. How do you want to call it? The San Fernando Youth Netball League. It's not a youth in it? San Fernando Netball Company. Okay. I call it that one. Dynam that is a bad idea if you yeah, yeah, go ahead and say it and say it. That is a bad idea. If, if you call it a company. Um yeah. what it tells you. Huh? Yeah. People are people upgrading and helping them to get me better. Right. Brand new. Brand new. Okay. What when you hear the word Right. If you hear the word company, what are you think what it says? It's upgrade or what? 
It's constructive, yes. Inspiration. And tell me some more things. Okay. Let's go now to the actual thing that the, the organization does. What does the netball um, league do? They play the sport, right? So if you want to be successful, what you'll have to do as players? What? What? Practice. Practice. Okay. Practice. Anybody here practicing? Yes. Right. How, how much practice you do? Every day. Every day. Good, good, good. Right. So we, we, we on a roll. We on a roll. We on a roll. All right. Okay. So we're moving now on to the sport personality um, and the netball personality um, section of the thing now. So let's say now there's a four wins the competition and you representing Lesser 4 okay um, and you get recognized to be the best personality <coughs> in San Fernando what we expect of the best personality now don't answer very quickly eh? think it through she representing Lesser 4 or Ambakade and you representing Laramine and you representing Palmyra and you representing um, San Fernando East. Right. You win. What characteristics, listen to it, what's that? <laughs> Self control, okay. They must be respectful, okay? Let me hear you. Knowledge. They have to have knowledge, okay? Must be able to listen. Must be able to listen, a good listener, all right? Okay. Selfless. What? Selfless. Person must be selfless? <laughs> <laughs> all right, well, just now, just now, I like that one. I like that one. Now, what do you mean by being selfless? What do you put when the person must be selfless? <laughs> Maybe Maybe that, no, 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 let her tell me. Okay. What's the question? <laughs> what do you mean? Just no, just no. <laughs> you tell me now. So selfless means not being selfish and being kind and trustworthy. Well, 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 very, very nice. Very nice. I think we should give us some energy. Very nice. Very nice. Very nice. Yourself. Very good. Well, it's almost the same thing. Okay. Confidence, right? That's one of the things they have to be confident. Huh? They have to be courageous. Good. So if we say saying this is Miss Personality, she, let, me, let me just repeat some of the things we say. I didn't say. The Miss Personality, Miss Sports Personality, representing netball must be confident must be selfless, must be knowledgeable, must be must be respectful, must be disciplined, good, that's, I don't, I don't finish this hand already, good, must be loyal, loyal to who? First, no, 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 you can't be loyal to the country, wait, 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 well, let's set it now, when, where does loyalty start? At Good. So at first you must be loyal to who? Parents. Parents, then who? Teachers. Teachers, then who? Leaders. Le well, Leaders. you're going too far. Uh, <laughs> to, to who? Uh, Elders. Good. Right. Those in authority. Right. Those in authority. Very good. And if it comes to the netball league, who you should be loyal to? The coach. And the what the coach represents? Netballers. Netball. No, 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 no. no. The, team. The, the team. Who said that? Get up, we'll see Good. Right. Alright, so we have the characteristics of his personality now. Alright? Going on to. We, we already. We, do, we don't know all the characteristics of the people on this competition. We know what we're going to do about the organization, which is how we're going to revive it, rebuild it, and see 
it grow and develop. We also know what are the characteristics of Miss Personality or Miss Sports Personality. I want to look at a one aspect of the personality now. I want to look at knowledge. All right. Because this quiz has to do with knowledge. Right here. Minister of Sports is the Honorable Elder Roberts. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Let me hear you. The Minister of the Minister of Sports is Anna Roberts. No. No, no, no. You, you get your chance. That's all. I'm here next to you now. The Minister of Sports and Utah Fields. No, not Utah Just sports. Is Anna Roberts. No. I'm here. The Minister of Sports is Mr. Anna Roberts. No, we missed it out. Why is this GPA very, very important to Trinidad and Tobago Network? Okay, that's one. <laughs> so that's one. She had Okay, of but why? She had lots of medals and she had discipline. But why? Because she had discipline and she showed other people. Okay, okay. okay. I said that. All right. I said more information. She portrayed the qualities that a network should have and she was a great she chooser. She chooser. So she just come just one with that? No, she, she was. She, she, put, she, she practiced and she gave it her all. And she, she was dedicated. She was focused. <laughs> she was dedicated and she was focused. And she was all, and she tried she was, No, she was all the above that kind of ball she had. Okay. Okay. But I want to get something else from you all. No. Is it is it that she did this on on her own? No, her coach. Good. She had a coach. Only a coach? No, I think she was first and foremost the captain of the team. Good. That's well one. But she also very the word I wanted to get from Miss Marinda that she was a member of a team. And that is where the next question will come now. Go to the head of the class. Who, <laughs> who if you know, are some of the other members of the team? Okay. Very good. But just not one, one, only one. Good. Anybody else? No. Okay. <laughs> I never thought about that thing. Good. Well, no one remember. Is that sports personality quiz? Give me one. Who? No. Jada Rose. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. no, 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 no. Yeah. Cheryl Peters. Cheryl Peters, good. <laughs> Cheryl and Blackburn. Hello. Where did you come from? Cheryl and Blackburn. Yes. <laughs> popular. What did they do? <coughs> Repeat the question. All right, these seven players, headed by Jean Pierre, did something special for Trinidad and Tobago. What did they do? Anybody could score good. All right. Let me see who did answer. You answer already. You answer already. You answer already. You answer already. Let me give you a chance. So I'm right. Um, they are popular because they won a national. They won a national thing. Competition. Well, sorry, people, you can One more time. People, you can stop. One more time. One more time. They were on the national team. I want I'm going to repeat the question one more time so I want people to pay attention. Pay attention. But that's how you'll get knowledge. Alright. These ladies. They were involved in a team, a netball team, and according to Ms. Regis, there were five others. They did something that made them really, really special in Trinidad and Tobago. Yeah. Alright, All right, asking. People who already went? Who People who went? Did, did went yet? So but who seconders? <laughs> so I'm going to try. But he will be involved. Alright, let me ask, let me start with you. Seeing that you're the youngest. What made them special? Because they show, they were doing, they were, they were hard, they were. They had dedication and they were working really hard. Good try. Let's try and strive. Let me try. You, let me try you. Hmm? Yeah. 
the brought the bro so many victories and and they brought so many gifts, victories and... Yeah. No, I know, I know, I, I know you knew the answers so, but I was giving all the others a chance. Oh, okay. You said they were dedicated, they, didn't no, sir, say, they said they wanted to have medals. Right. Yeah, sure, sure. Alright. No. So what we want now is to make sure that since 1979, that time, your parents didn't even meet one another when that happened. None of your parents would have met one another. Right? 1979. Right. Then is when Trinidad and Tobago won along with New Zealand. Is it New Zealand or Australia? Australia. Australia. Very good. Like you read it. Won the International World Netball Tournament. Okay? I would could tell you that I was. In the in the Jean Beer complex, sitting on guess to guess how where guess why I went to see. Guess why I went to see Miss Arinda. Yeah, guess what I went to see. Miss Guess what I went to see. Girls number one, but which girl? Which one is the hottest girl? Jean Beer. Very good. Everybody in Trinidad went to look at the hottest girl. She was the best. Yeah. You know? Jimbe. Right. Yeah, well, your mother didn't, your mother didn't even meet your father yet. That's what happened. Yeah, that was Jimbe. So I'm saying to you, you all have an opportunity now to start that again. Because we have never won a, com a, 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 a really, really big international competition since then. I don't know what has happened, but probably we need some young people to really get on board and do that. Okay. Now, I'm hearing that you all are all finalists. I recognize that all of you are interested in... Put, put it on the arm. The, the, the panel, the panel. The, pa the panel. I want people to go home after. Get on your laptop, your, your tablet, your computer. Google now the information with respect to netball in Trinidad and Tobago. Some of the questions that will come has to do with your personality. We talked about your personality. We talked about some of the characteristics. We talked about knowledge. And we went through some of the quest possible questions that you might ask, you might be asked. As a Ministry of Gender, we and youth, we are supportive of the program. We will be giving you all the kudos that you want. We will try to support some aspects of the medals. So you all will be expected to be at your best. You listening? You listening? Yes. So I don't want to come to no show. And people fumbling and can't answer and scratching their head and thinking. You know. Everybody here, based on what they said about the names, who fantastic, who splendid, who natural, who awesome, going to be yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. They're going to be that day on the day of the show. So I want to thank you all. I want to hear Mr. Danu, then I'll have Miss Lucy um, summarize and then we'll close. Well, I'll have to say, right? Um, I just want to ask one simple, simple question and then I'll make one statement. Um, you are the captain of your netball team, right? You are in the midst of a match and your team is trailing by 20 something goals. You are the captain. At that point in time, what are you supposed to do? Yeah, you are the captain. <laughs> You are in a match, a, a netball match. Your team is trailing by 20 goals. Right? You are the captain, remember? Right. Uh -huh. You have to? I'll bring your spirit. I'll bring your spirit. Uh -huh. You have to? You have to be encouraged. Remember, I want to hear a specific word. Yeah, you can pray if you want. Yes, pray is good. Yes, you've got to. 
be able to motivate people, right? And when you say motivate, what do you mean? Push them, even though they're feeling not confident. All right, okay. Right, okay, beautiful, right. Good. Uh, they miss netball personality, fine. Well, that's good. Um, you talked a lot of things about qualities and so on, discipline and stick to itiveness and what have you. I trust that you would transfer those nice qualities to your books. Because whatever sport you play, you can't play for every day of your life. You might get injured in the midst of your, of, of, of your, or at the peak of your career. So there must be something else you have to fall back on. So all those nice qualities that would make you a, a good football, I mean netball personality would put you to the height. Transfer them to your books for me please, right? Okay, so that discipline, if you transfer that to your books, nobody could beat you. You could win scholarships, whatever, right? So the same netball can give you a scholarship to go to the States. And you have to be able to maintain that scholarship. You have to be able to show good performance in your schoolwork. Right? So, one goes with the other. All right, that's all I mean. It's nice. On the, do you know what was celebrated on the 1st of December? World AIDS Day is always celebrated on the 1st of December. All right? The theme for this year's and the last year's was zero tolerance, meaning zero negative, negative, <laughs> negative infections, yeah. negative stigmatization, <coughs> and, and negative no, no new cases, infection. So I want to share with you, now some of them might be big because they do have small, but all of them are a good fit. Whenever you're Wear them. I want you all to think seriously about the situation of people living with AIDS. And for those young people who want to start to experiment with sex, to consider what is happening in Trinidad and Tobago at the moment. So, on behalf of the ministry, thank you. 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 Thank
Number ten. Number ten. Don't call too far. Number and that 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 is the people who you'll never meet. You know you want to see it. That's why I was talking about the phone so long. The parents who already wanted to see, not yet, and they don't know what's going on, so I keep saying the same thing over the phone. So parents, this competition, this netball golden goals personality quiz competition, is a developmental competition for your daughter. It is about netball, but they're not some parents um, related to or they come at a tray to play netball. So they don't want them to come. Some parents realize that it's educational and they have to write an introduction and they don't want them to come. There's too much work to do. So what do we really need as parents? We have to know too that these girls are from standard four up. So let's talk about the primary school students first. The introduction that they have to say and prepare is creative writing. That's a lot of math for SE. And since they began preparing their creative writing, they're actually getting better at it. Sometimes in school, children get lost in the system. They don't get receive the opportunity to speak out. And these children here now opening out. So let's talk about Amy. Well, Amy, of course, I got something. So I need to try here. For three sessions, Amy said nothing. Her mommy was at that three sessions. And then mommy didn't come on. And the child started to talk and answer questions. Because the next friend doubt themselves and their parents say, Oh God, quiet now. So they get quiet. They don't say anything. But they have a lot to say. Some people are surprised at what happens on the actual date of the competition. Because you might see that they are not practicing. But they are practicing. And you love to see their practice, unless they want to. Carmen was surprised at the preliminaries. She, because she, didn't, she didn't practice it, she didn't want to practice. Yeah. Because some parents stress out children. You say that's right. Don't do that like that. Say it like this. Oh, the, that's how you would say it. You understand? So, it is support, be supported, and you know, be there for them. Be there for them on Sunday by this. They might make a little mistake. But what they are doing up there, some people in the audience are able to do. So why not a mistake? They still did great. Excellent. When they have finished on Sunday, after the competition, you have to tell them that they were excellent. They were wonderful. You don't want to know if they made a mistake, if they forget part of the speech, and if they didn't answer the question good, and you should answer good like that, or like girl, and all of these sorts of things. I've heard those things before, you know. You have to let them know that they did excellent. And then they will get thirsty for the knowledge and for the information. So instead of you worrying about the becoming better net bowlers, you think that think and focus on that we'll get better netballers at Trinidad and Tobago because of these girls here. And finally our netballers, by next 10 years, will be able to communicate. That's a far cry from that now. We know that netball, let's say, in Trinidad and Tobago, not in South Trinidad, in Trinidad and Tobago, is a sport that is lacking in attention. The attention begins from the home. We are talking about government eh, because you know we are the government the people, we do the voting. It begins in the home with parents' involvement with their children in, in sports. And I don't like the word extracurricular activities because it's not part of my vocabulary. Because sports, and let's say netball, or can say anyway, netball is extracurricular. But yet, when we want the physical education teachers in the school and there are none, that's why there are none. 
because people don't want their children to do no sports. The series is extracurricular and get what? CXC? It's a subject. And then when the ordinary teacher is teaching physical education in the primary school, oh, that teacher can't teach no PEL. She just going to throw a hoop and sit on a chair and then be going round and round. Because there are no physical education trained teachers in private school. So the children become inactive. They go to secondary school and they get a customer of doing nothing. They can't even walk from there to there. So I want to encourage the parents of today. Start walking. Of course, you might say, you're working, you're studying, when you come up, you're tired, or you have something else for you to do. Start walking with them and singing with them and getting things back. I won't say remember the old time days. But you have to remember that this is what happened in our society. We all see what's happening. And that comes from the home. Everything happens behind closed doors. When a child is faltering in school, nine out of ten times it's not a teacher. Nine out of ten times it's home. They call it behind closed doors. Because outside, a nice little hunky dory. No, of course, this man is darling, you know. <laughs> but we tell you to close that door home. You know what's happening. Children respond different to many different things. And you see that child, uh, just now, I am more than nosy. I ask a lot of questions. I know all my dancers. I know all my parents and dancing problems. I like the, the counselor. Just won't tell me this, just won't tell me that. And that is how I know why the child is progressing on the stage. Because you understand. And then you know why this person in come tonight. And sometimes some children, they don't really talk or say anything. And it's only just only conversation when they were training here. Then the child who didn't come tonight, as her mommy told me, but her auntie, now she knows her auntie because her mommy died last year and her father died in July. So one minute in school, she there, and next minute she ain't there, and next minute she there, I mean, man. Because like, she's still living and pushing daddy alive and things of that nature. So I now find out that today. Because I say, Mom, you have to tell me why she ain't come. Oh, but she has her mood. What is the mood? She has to tell me that. And the two girls do that. So I mean, she up and then she down. And so that's cool. and ask her, is she still taking part in the competition? She said yes. Because it's auntie who's seen about her. So we have to know children react to different situations differently. Two children at home, one child take on something, and they shine. That's not the bright child, and that's the girl's child. Semi casual, elegantly professional outfit. You see what's inside of there? But professional would mean. If I said professional, semi-professional, whatever, professional outfit, then I come some kind of power suit thing. Eh? With panty shoulders or west coat and thing of that nature, like you come to sell insurance or, you know? Mm -hmm. So by the time say semi-casual, elegant. It doesn't mean that you want it in silk. You know, somebody asked me, they want it in a silk dress and silk down to here. It's not an evening gown. So you know from the time the child come on Sunday and you come in the evening gown, some kind of low flowing thing. When you visualize it in your mind, it will be clear that these are children still. So semi-casual, elegant, professional. It is an outfit that first, second, third, and we say we are paying a courtesy call to the mayor again, or we're going to see the president of Trinidad and Tobago. That is an outfit they could wear. Can we take a taxi down the road and go to Paulus Bay and then along gown? No um, whole kind of thing like that. Not even no cleavage exposed. No high heels, no gloves. No, you're, you're scared of talking, you know. No big bag. Everyone's supposed to have some little satchel over their shoulder or their bag that can hold their rule book. Because in that outfit, they have to take out their rule book at some point in time to show. So that's when you become conscious. Because when you take out the rule book, you have to make sure the rule book is correct side up. Some of the practice in here, they have to take it out, it's upside down, and all sorts of things. No excess, 
not to realize this, uh, that how you know, big like that. Uh, keep it in mind that they are children. The same hairstyle. You want your um don't bring your hairdresser. <laughs> no, that's what experience in the CS Tempera, this thing and the night you'll see hair dry and cool and all kind of thing, you know. Don't bring your hairdresser. If the hair is in one for the introduction, then it's in one for the outfit. You can change the accessories. You can change the one to sideways. Because there will be a little pause in between there. For you to fix them up. No unnecessary gold chain or thing of that nature. Three, I mean, they can have one, one is a gold chain. But they don't need three. And they don't need rings on all the fingers. And toes. I'm just saying. They don't need, they don't need any makeup. So no makeup. Because it's a school thing, and they don't need makeup. It's not a pageant, it's not a beauty pageant. But the adjudicator see it is natural beauty. And then we come to category number three. The break in, break up, the intelligence category. Those who came to the majority of training sessions, you will see are the ones most prepared. Those who came to one and came to none, Although they receive the package with the particular question that will be asked on that ball, and we identified, we're not doing all 50, we identified 21 out of the set that they will be pulling from. So they pull in the question, and then the other is A, B, and C. And the B category relates to general knowledge about the court. For the person about some parent things, isn't it? The court, height of the pole, dimensions. Those who were there before and they had their rule book, you know the information. They can't come in their introduction and say, I love netball because it assists me in developing my knowledge about the game. And then they don't have no knowledge about the game. These girls here, out of all of the netballers from San Fernando Netball League, and there are 200 and something. There might only be 40 persons that own a rule book. So we are attempting to start a trend in the city of San Fernando and so try to, you know, like sensitize the PE teachers now in primary school specifically to ask their players to purchase a rule book. Before San Fernando Nebo League began selling these rule books, Trinidad and Tobago Nebel Association start to ask a question. Who sample and look at all these rule books to? And they will see that on Saturday when we attend the Trinidad and Tobago Nebel Association Council meeting as observers because it is in the Constitution. But sometimes people in charge of the really read the Constitution. So I know that, eh, the Constitution. So we wrote the letter asking for their approval. The first response was no, because these girls were here in the business of netball. I'm free about the business of netball. And in 15 minutes, apparently, they reconsidered. So they called back and they said yes. We had to think there, because these girls are the future of netball in Trinidad and Tobago. All of the young ones, the future national players. So we are going to hear Crawford. Stadium on Saturday, we are departing San Fernando at quarter to nine. I'm going to get on just at the Mr. and Ms. Santos Hill Testers. The ladies are leaving by the library corner and we take a taxi. Seven seaters. So they'll have some adults in another taxi if parents want to come. We don't want to say our parents to come and go because some parents might say and then everybody won't be to go on a parent car. So we're going to take a taxi, we're going to hear the Crawford Stadium. And during that session, they will be introducing themselves. Because we have asked the president of Trinidad and Tobago of Nepal Association to sponsor something. And she has agreed. Because we want them to get involved now. And it was already a technical way to get them involved. Because they will be playing a part in the rebuilding and reshaping netball in Trinidad and Tobago. So it was to ask them. And I asked everybody for sponsorship. I might even, before we finish here, ask the sponsor they want to sponsor something. That's how I just work. 
So, I'll give it back, go back now to Section C in the Intelligence Question. Section C is the opinion question. In your opinion, what are three qualities a national netballer should possess? That's one that you was working on a lot. And all of the questions, the opinion questions, will be based on netball. It will be like, change wrong a little bit and say, if you were to apply, because in the future, it might have ads where you have to apply. And they say, list five qualities that you possess that will make you eligible to be a national netballer. What are the five qualities would you list? So all of the opinion questions will be around that theme upon that board. All my go to say, list five qualities that you think GP possessed when we won the World Tournament, the World Championship. We did this around the table this evening. So some parents mightn't hear it for the first time and say, oh good, that's a hard question, eh? We did that this very evening here. Right here with Mr. Emmanuel, the youth officer. Sessions such as this, and they had a lecture today also on local government and what is a municipality, what, how councillors and what the council of city corporation. We did all of that at city corporation this afternoon. And then the gentleman sitting there is Mr. Emmanuel, and he spoke about leadership and new development and show them all how they can be leaders in their own right and how to build an organization and what is necessary for an organization to be successful. So all our children are bright. They are stars in their own right. So what I expect from parents, before I start to talk about tickets, is that all of these parents I'm seeing here, I should see all of you on Sunday. <coughs> Somehow, the delegates have to reach to Mudsec at 1 o'clock. Some parents will say, but I'm not coming there, I'm coming in time for the show. And therefore, they bring them quarter to three. They can't settle down and get yourself, you know, and their mind focused. Because remember, they're tense, they're anxious. So they have to bring them to settle down, hang up the outfit. They must come with their outfit at 1 o'clock. Don't say you're bringing it with you, know, because then they worry about that too. And then you might come late. When we're about to start, you won't know where to hang it up. And you're coming to confuse me. And I'll be inside the hall. And you're coming to say, Miss Regis, you know, I didn't get this color so and so. And then bam, and I forget the room. Go. So you have to have them settle down. So you see, the parents who here will know that. And you'll see me talking, saying the same thing as well to the parents who are not here. So the parents who are here, I really expect you to come to ask me those things because all the questions they want to ask, ask now. Now, in the beginning, parents know that today, Thursday, that tickets were supposed to be paid for. I know some parents might be prepared, but you know that we are meeting on Saturday. When we come back from Port of Spain, we are going to Mudsec for the final rehearsal because some who will not at the rehearsal for the stage pattern don't know the stage pattern at all for the introduction. Some don't know the stage pattern for the appearance in the casual way. It have directions to walk. And this is all developing the mind because some of them took like 15 minutes to get that excellent. Uh -uh -uh. It's about initiative. Poise, walking, you know, everything that you need to develop your self esteem. Questions, again. They can have a snack with them, the lunch or whatever, and the water because up in here, see, crop, we have nothing to buy there. And I will not be allowing them when we come, when we reach the Polar Spain, we might go straight there, just pay the taxi the amount of money to go straight there. And when we come back to Polar Spain, they just bring our ice side. Nobody goes to buy ice cream and things like that. I go to you know. You're coming there, I'll be getting in a car to come down San Fernando. When you jump San Fernando, you can buy something there. And then go to Mudsec and sit on Mudsec and eat. But carry a home thing, sandwich, and some snack and thing. Huh? Right. You good? Right. Um, my granddaughter, she'll be chewing it on a Saturday morning. That's beautiful. Yeah. Cuba. 
Mr. Clifton.